G'day everyone, I'm here today with another one of our tech tips for our J-Hub. I've got the setup here in my shed, it's a bit of a demo and a bit of a test setup. And what I'm going to do today, we're going to talk about the battery isolation switch. There seems to be a little bit of confusion between how you use it, when you should use it. So let's get a close up of it, where it is on the J-Hub and how we actually use it. So here we have one of our J35 test systems, all set up, ready to give you a bit of a demonstration. So it's a simple setup, Sentry AGM battery, J35 in the D, a couple of output circuits, being our lights, the control node, CN102, which is the heart of the communications. No water and tanks installed on this one at the moment. And then the J-Hub tablet. So this is what we were referring to before when we are talking about the battery isolation switch. The reason you use the battery isolation switch is so that whilst you're away, and the van may be, say, in winter storage mode, or you go away for two or three days, is that it doesn't place any drain on the battery inadvertently. So the idea was that you never come back to a flat battery. Now, the way this is set up is that it will work whether it is on AC power, which is actually what we're on at the moment because we're charging our battery, or whether we're just on battery power alone. And the way it works is it will disconnect all loads except for the power to the tablet, to prevent that drain on the battery. In the background though, the battery will still continue to charge. So if we press this here, you can see that our lights, which we just had on, have now been disconnected, but we've still got power going up into our tablet and we've still got the battery being charged. So just repeating, the idea is to isolate, that is disconnect, all of our loads away from the J35 and the battery for a winter storage mode or just a general disconnect mode. Don't forget when you come back into the van, turn it back on and as you can see from this, it's remembered the exact settings and it'll revert back to the same state it was in just before it was turned off. That's all for now. See you in the next tech tip.